Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LCGM007, and today we look at the One in the Chamber minigame plugin. Now, this is a really awesome minigame, one of my favorites that I used to play, where you run around with a single arrow and a bow, and you have to obviously beat the other players and have pretty good accuracy. So this plugin makes it super simple to set up. It has a very handy GUI where you can set all the different spawn points and minimax players assign, etc. So it takes literally a few clicks to set up an arena and then you can jump in and start playing with your friends. So that is what we're going to show you today, how to set it up and then how to configure it. So if we do one in the chamber help, this is gonna show us all of the commands. Now, all of these are pretty straightforward. If you do one in the chamber list, that's going to show you existing arenas. I've just created one. You can obviously join an arena if you want to, and then you can delete them, etc. So I'm going to quickly delete the previous arena I created, which is test, um, and then make sure you really want to do that so you can confirm it. And then we no longer have an arena. So if we want to create a new one, we want to do four slash one in the chamber, create, and we're going to call it arena one. How exciting. And then we can do one in the chamber, edit arena one. Once we're in here, these items up at the top is everything that you can change and set up. So we've got the minimax players. You can left click to decrease and right click to increase. So I like to bring this down. Um, the amount of players means you need a minimum of four spawn points in this case. So we're just going to set that at three. Uh, the minimum is two, you can't set it any lower than that for obvious reasons. Um, and then we have various spawn points to set and we have the sign. Make sure you're looking at one that's blank and you pop down and then just click the sign and that will set it up like this. Of course it's inactive, we need to set the rest of the points. So jump in your arena and go to where you want some of the players to spawn and you are going to go to the green icon here and just click it. That will set spawn point one of three. And obviously if you change your mind uh, with the amount of players, you will now need to add two more. And actually we are going to go up to four so we can set uh, two more. So we're on three or four now and let's set one more to make it happy. There we go, we have completed that part. As you can see, there is a green tick there. Now we need to set the lobby and ending location. So I'm just gonna use this as my lobby here. And we are going to click that green one. That one is now completed. And then the end location is going to be this one here. So click end location. We can go back into the arena and see these are all ticks and green. And then so are these as well. We've added the sign. Um, you can change the name if you want, and we can actually use color code. So uh, let's call this server miner, make it look nice. Very good. And then if you have any issues at all, you can look at the wiki page for the commands and permissions and stuff like that. Um, but if you have done all this, you can click register arena. So now we can either use a sign to join or we can do one in the chamber, join and then the name of our server. So we teleported to the lobby. You can see there's a nice uh, bar at the top saying waiting for more players. On the right there is uh, a scoreboard which says players, min players, the map, and then whatever you want to write on the rest of the line. And then we have a bed to return back to the lobby which um, will send us to the endpoint as we are no longer in the game. And that is pretty much how you would set it up in game. Um, and then you can jump on with your friends and see who is the best with a bow and arrow. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel and as you can see there's actually a ton of YML files. Now we'll start in the arenas.yml. So up at the top we have the default so uh, you could change this if you, if you wanted to. And then arena one, this is the one we created and then we gave it that name. So don't really touch anything in there. Uh, we can go into the config file and see what's in here. There's a few things like the boss bar, uh, the starting waiting time, start time when there's a full lobby. Going back, we can hop into the messages. So this is everything that's gonna pop up in chat. Uh, we have the scoreboard here, so you can obviously uh, change this if you wanted to. So you have the playing one, the waiting one, the starting one. And finally, we have the rewards section. So in here, if player gets killed, they will get $2 and they have a 10% chance to get $8. And then when they die, they say this command. And if you win, they say this and lose, say that. And you can see um, this is what each of those means. So it makes it simple to edit. And then we have the list of placeholders here, the player, the map name, the ID, and uh, the number of players in the game. So here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.9 to 1.19. It works really well. You can see here is a couple of GIFs about how it works. If you do need help, there is a wiki page you can go to. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.